I'm fresh off of Internet Summit in Raleigh, North Carolina. Met some great folks there that I already knew and met some great new folks that I added to my network and hope to stay in touch with them. I attended a session by Tom Shapiro where he talked about elements that you need to use in your marketing, specifically your website, to help increase conversions and overall have a better marketing channel slash funnel. I'm going to share a snippet from Tom's talk where he talks about using emotion on your website to help with conversions. I thought it was a very, very good tip and I think that all of us need to go back and look at our website and see what the verbiage on our website is so that we can convert more. Here's what Tom had to say. Okay, another thing you want to do to increase your site conversions is evoke an emotive response from your site visitors. So uh, the neuroscientist Antonio Damasio ran some really interesting studies on people with damage to the part of the brain that triggers emotions. So these people couldn't feel anything. They couldn't feel angry, they couldn't feel happy, they couldn't feel emotions. And what he found was, because they couldn't feel emotions, they couldn't feel strongly enough about any one product option versus another, or a service option versus another. In other words, they would endlessly waffle. And so it was extremely difficult for them to make any type of decision, including purchase decisions. And so what he found was, Emotions are absolutely necessary in purchase decisions. It's actually the opposite of what we think. We think we're all in control and it's all logical, right? We're making very logical decisions as to what we're gonna buy and what we're not, what we're gonna uh, you know, sign up for, what we're not, what forms we're gonna fill out, what we're not. Actually, a lot of it is driven by emotions. And so if you can focus on driving their emotions first and get them reacting emotionally, it'll be much more powerful in driving your conversions. Here's an example. So here's a company that provides management solutions to associations and nonprofits. Okay, that's fine. But I come to their website, and this is the first message that they hit me with. This is what I call dictionary marketing. They're just telling me what it is they do. So if there are 30, 40, 50 companies in their sector, guess what? I can't tell them apart, right? I don't know what makes them different. I don't know what makes them more valuable. I don't know why I should contact them. I don't know why I should convert on their site. There's no, nothing driving me towards conversion here. Okay, another company in the same industry, and this is how we framed their homepage. Make your mark on the world. Reimagine what's possible. Virtual strategic management, consulting, and execution ignites your organization's growth. Achieve more with virtual. And then we get into the self-segmentation right after that. So what are we doing? We're not talking about their services. We're not saying, we do this, we do that. Of course we do, that's our service, that's a, that, that is what we do. And so we, it's much more powerful to drive an emotional response. Um, and then what you'll see that translate into is higher conversion rates.